Hey, how's it going today? We're coming back to you from Mummert Y Block, and we're doing an update on our Building the Better 312 project here. So let's see. Um, what we've done is we've got the block uh, decked after we did our trial assemble. And right now the pistons are five in the hole. So we're going to use a head gasket, a Kometic that's 36 thousandths thick. So that's going to give us a total of 41 thousandths total piston to head clearance or deck clearance. Um, it's going in a truck. So we have the dipstick tube on the side. We got this hole open. We've got the one in the front blocked. Obviously, we got the uh, block all final washed, painted. We did some extra deburr work on some of the corners and the flash above and beyond uh, what we did on our regular short block video. Um, and so the other thing too, because we're building a better 312, this is something that we did here. Um, we put a little eyebrow in the block. Let's see if you can see that. But this is something that we found on uh, some of our wet flow testing that seems to provide a better, I'd say better fuel flow through the engine. Um, in our years of airflow bench testing or dry flow testing, we never really saw any gains at all to speak of. These eyebrows that uh, guys used to do way back in the day never did anything to improve dry airflow on the flow bench. But when we started doing some wet testing, we saw what looked like better fuel movement across the squish pad over the top of the spark plug or just less separation, less uh, fallout. So this is something we've been doing for the last couple years. For a long time, we didn't really do it much. We just did the standard uh, chamfer. Um, but we've started doing this. And, you know, when you lay this out, you do have to be careful you don't want to pull this too far back this way. We didn't see anything really good from doing that. And you have to be careful to not go too low because you don't want to get into your ring travel. So I want to say we are trying to stay 70 to 80 thousandths above the ring travel, you know, at the bottom of this eyebrow. So. Anytime you do this kind of work, you do have to be careful, lay it out properly, and uh, just take your time. Um, but yeah, going along, um, like I said, we're not getting in too crazy into the pounding of the pistons or the bearing clearances. You know, a lot of that basic stuff is uh, in the short block videos. But just wanted to show you guys that uh, the engine is coming along. Um, we do have the pistons pounded in it. Got our tool steel lifters. Those always look nice. Wanted to tell you about the eyebrow and uh, give you an update on our uh, how we set the deck clearance up and the head gasket. So uh, sounds good to me. Hope it sounds good to you. And uh, happy Y blocking. Never be afraid to go to FordYBlock.com. And uh, we're still waiting on a few parts, so I think uh, the next video will be uh, pretty soon. But we got to get a couple things to come in before we can work on this too much more. But anyway, guys, have a good one. See ya.